Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix white screen issue with lethal company game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, try launching the game. Now, the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, just make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, just allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings. Now, if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security and then click on Windows security. Now, if you have Windows 10, you will have an option update in security, then click on Windows security. Now, click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. If the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program files x86. Open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Now open the lethal company folder. Now over here, you will find the game exe file, select the game exe file and then click on open and check if there is any other exe file for the game. So this is the only exe file, add it and then once you add it over here, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now go to the system and security. Now click on Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Change Settings on the top. Click on Allow another app. Click on Browse. And then again go to the Game Installation folder and open the game folder. Now select the game exe file and then click on Open. Now click on Add. In my case, it's already added. So let's check. Yeah, game is added. Once the game is added over here, now click on OK and then launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now, for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now, make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and go to the second tab over here and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here so instead of launching the game from steam you can launch the game from the game installation folder just make a double click over here still you're facing the problem then select properties once again and this time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimizations and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again go to properties and this time Put a check on the box over here and then select Windows 8 and then click on apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Still you are facing the problem, in that case you can try Windows 7 this time over here. Click on apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Now if, when you put a check on all these boxes, still if you are facing the problem, then in that case you can uncheck all the boxes and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to if you are able to launch the game, switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if you are able to launch the game, switch to window mode. So launch the game first. So go to settings and then over here, if display mode is set to full screen, you can try window full screen or you can even go for window mode. Now window mode has worked for many players. So you can try this. So select window mode over here and then check the performance. Now the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11 and then launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can even try dash DX12 and then launch the game and then check. Still it's not working in that case, remove this, clear this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. 
So go to NVIDIA website. Now over here, select the right product type and then select right product series. So whichever product series you have, select your product series and then select your graphic card. So make sure that you select your graphic card over here. Now, if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11 and then click on start search and then scroll down. The latest GeForce Game Ready driver right now is driver version 546.01. This is the studio one. This is GeForce Game Ready driver. You have to install this one. And the latest is 546.02. Now click on get download. Now click on download now. And once this download is complete, run this exe file. Now once you run this exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete and after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse over here, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Now select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added over here, click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Now the next step is to delete the save game files. Now before you delete the save game files, let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, you can delete the save game file for this open file explorer. Go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data on the top, click on view, select show, and then put a check on hidden items. You should be able to see app data. If you have Windows 10, somewhere over here, you will, here, you will find the view option, click on view. Then somewhere over here, you will find the hidden items box. So put a check on hidden items and you should be able to see app data folder. Open this folder. Now open local low folder. Now open this folder over here. Here you can see lethal company. So make a right click on lethal company and then click on delete. Once this is deleted, now launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to verify the game file. Now this is important. Make a right click on the game, select properties. Go to the installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. After the verification, launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now this is important. So open Windows settings. Go to Windows update or update in security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. Disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. If you have any external devices which you are not using, disconnect all the external devices or USB adapter which you are not using and then launch the game. Also disable Steam overlay. Now for this make a right click on the game, select properties. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn this off and then launch the game. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have any other overlay application like if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in G for experience, turn it off. So close close all the other overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application. So if you have MSI afterburner or revert tuner running, make sure that you close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also, if you have any third party software or services running, make sure that you close all the third party software and services. So close, make sure only the steam and the game is running, rest close everything, including all your browsers and then launch the game and then check. Also, if you have undervolt ready computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. And then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all. Then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings. 
and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so click on x86 and then run this exe file so download both x86 and x64 now once the download is complete you can click on this exe file and install both the exe file that is x64 and x66 make sure that you install both the file and once installation is done restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to update the system bios go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have a lenovo computer go to lenovo if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest bios update available now before you update the system bios in case of laptop make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer and then update the system bios now during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when when it's updating the system bios after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, if nothing is working, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to C drive. So this has worked for many players or you can try to install. If the game is already installed in C drive, you can try different drive. So first of all, uninstall the game. And then after you uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. And if that is SSD, that would be great. So for many users, reinstalling the game to C drive has worked. If the game is already installed in C drive, then you can try to install the game on different drive and try to install the game on SSD and then check.
So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.